Hello everyone, welcome to Rice Day University. My name is Ian Zhuang and I'm a professor at the Department of Electric Engineering. My group at Rice Day University working on multifunctional materials, microwave and microelectronics. And here I want to give you the overview of all courses that we offer at Rice Day University in the field of microwave engineering. The first course is the EE3450 Electromagnetics and this course introduces the basic concept of electromagnetics and this is the foundation of all the microwave engineering. If you look at the RF and the microwave circuit, it basically consists only two types of components, passive components and active components. Passive components are those components that can be operated without external power force. Well, the active component do need external power force. So the microwave engineering one covers all the concept of a passive component, including filter, transmission line, matching network, and so on. And uh, microwave engineering two covers the active component, for example, power amplifier. For students who take microwave one and two together, and they will have the full knowledge of uh, microwave technology. Additional core courses in the microwave field is the EE7480 Advanced Microwave Engineering. It covers the high-speed electronics operated in the high frequency. In addition to the core courses, REST University also offer a number of uh, uh, electives relevant to the microwave technology. EE4450 Electromagnetic Compatibility EE4480 Remote Sensing Detectors and Systems, EE7430 High Frequency Magnetic Components, EE7440 RF Power Amplifier, EE7460 Advanced Electromagnetic Engineering, EE7470 Electromagnetic Simulation Method, and EE7490 Antenna Theory and Design. So what is the RF and the microwave engineering? And this figure shows the full spectrum of electromagnetic waves. The definition of microwave engineering is any materials, device, components, circuit, system, as long as they are operated in the frequency range between 300 MHz to 300 GHz, are all belongs to microwave engineering. So one example is the 5G communication. Depending on the location, the dense urban, urban, suburban, and rural, the communication might take a different standard and technology. The general trend is that for the region with a high population, require high data transfer rate, and also require system to be operated at high frequency. But however, no matter what technology they choose, and they all belong to microwave technology because they all operated in the microwave frequency range. The second example is the autonomous car, which relies on the remote sensing system. And this remote sensing system allows the car and the system to sense the surrounding traffic. This uh, sensing system also operates in the microwave frequency range, thus this remote sensing system also belongs to microwave technology. In addition to the lecture, we also uh, prepare a teaching lab, and this is a complete out-of-box solution focusing on the RF microwave teaching. And it provides the basic concept of RF component, RF circuit, RF communication system, and also be able to do the calculation of RF circuit simulation building RF circuit. In addition, Rice State also participate this IF and the microwave industry ready student certification program. And this program creates a collaboration between the university and the industry to recognize and acknowledge students that have demonstrated IF microwave design and measurement expertise. And this program also demonstrates the immediate value to the employees and also confirms each university's interest in preparing students for future industry contribution. 
and up to now more than 40 top engineering universities in US and Europe participate in this program and since 2014 more than 60 resident students obtained this certificate. So you are really welcome to join us at the Rice State University. I hope I can see you quickly in the class.